minutes, it's me, Sunny Ray, and I'm here in the weather. And this week's forecast looks nice and pleasantly warm. We are headed to some warmer temperatures reaching the high 80s. It won't be long until the hot weather returns to us, so enjoy these cooler days before the summertime gets here. Well, the weather may not be hot right now, but it's still not a good idea to leave your lunch in the car all week. Ugh! No! Yuck! Please put that in the trash and let's continue with this week's lesson. Kids, in the last few weeks, we have seen Jesus traveling around, teaching large crowds and healing people, restoring the sight of the blind man, just like we learned last week. That's right. Today in the... Big God Story! I love the Big God Ew, Story! That's my line. Was that Rachel? It sure sounded like her, but let's keep going. I am trying to rush through because your food made the whole room smell. So, as I was saying, we are going to hear how Jesus has power over death. Jesus is life. He shows it by bringing a man who had been dead for four days back to life again. The man's name is Lazarus, and I bet that when he came back, he didn't smell too good. Kind of like your food. Well, kids, you may need to plug your nose for this. Timmy, put that this away. This is a story about a man named Lazarus. <clears throat> Now, there once was a man named Lazarus Hello. who became very sick. Hello. He was from a town <coughs> called Bethany, where he lived with his sisters Mary and Martha. They knew Jesus, and they were friends with him. Because Lazarus was so sick, it was not long before he died. And his sister sent words saying, The one you love is, is become sick, and he has died. When Jesus received Hello. the news that his friend Lazarus had died, he said, This sickness will not be the end in death. No, it is for the glory of God that God's Son may be glorified through it. Two days later, Jesus headed to visit Mary and Martha. On his arrival, Jesus found Lazarus had been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was a place that was like two miles from Jerusalem, and many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them in their loss of their brother. When Mary reached the place where Jesus was, she saw him, and she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping, he was deeply moved in the spirit and troubled. He said to them, where have you laid my friend Lazarus? So they took Jesus to the place where they had laid Lazarus' body. As Jesus approached the grave, he was so overcome with sadness, <laughs> Jesus wept. <laughs> Jesus once more deeply moved. He came to the tomb in the cave. It was where the stone was laid across the entrance and Jesus commanded, take the stone away. But Martha shouted, by this time there will be a bad odor because he has been in there for four days. Then Jesus said, did I not tell you that if you believe you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I know that you will always hear me. But as I have said for the benefit for the people standing here, that they may believe that you sent me too. Then he said this in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out! The dead man came out, his hands and feet wrapped with linens and the cloth arrayed around his face. Jesus said, take off the grave clothes and let him go. Lazarus, was healed. Isn't it great to know that Jesus is life? The end. When Lazarus came out of the tomb, Jesus immediately commanded people to take off his grave clothes and let him go. Jesus raised Lazarus to life. This is an amazing description of who Jesus is. Through God's story, we know that Jesus is life. He has power over death and over all things in our lives. Death could not even hold Jesus. He is our risen Lord. In the Bible, it says in Mark 8, 34, 
that whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. Those are powerful words. Jesus is saying that his way is the best way because only he can bring life. When we decide to follow Jesus, we're following the one who loves us the most and wants to give us the best. Isn't that the best news of all? Jesus is life.